Uh, welcome to Cock and Bull. Uh, this, I'm sitting here with the Amiens Affair. How are you, fellas? Great. Lovely. Super. So come on, give us, um, give us a 20-second a, a um, background to the Amiens Affair. Two years. We formed two years ago, yeah. In a shop. In a shop. Uh, I started working in a shop that Mark was working in. And uh, I was playing on my own, and it sounded shit. So I just said uh, needed needed some needed some drum drum parts, and uh, Amy Thor was born officially. Um, and uh, tell us about EPs and stuff and albums, upcoming albums. Uh, two EPs we've done in the past two years. I'm speaking a bit like Yoda. So, um, <laughs> two EPs. Mm. <laughs> two EPs we have done. <laughs> uh, two one in the January of 2009, and then another one in January of 2010. Right, and. Um, the first one was called Fragile Things, <laughs> and the second one was called <laughs> Patterns. <laughs> and the album is going to be called no. yeah, Undecided. <laughs> tell, tell us about the album. When's the? What's the plan? What's? We're recording it at the moment. Um, we are going to spend about two or three months on it, um, and hopefully have it done. Well, no, we will have it done by the end of the year. At which point, we're going to see if anybody would like to uh, release it or distribute it for us. If not, then we'll, we'll see if we can do it ourselves. Uh, so we're looking at. Ballpark, spring next year of album release day. And what what can we expect on the album as? Uh, lots of music. Lots good, of, lots of music, good. Yes. Just just music. Yeah, yeah. Not loads of. But it. apart it's apart it's from awesome. apart from just music, how, how are you are you going in any new directions or anything like that? It's you know it is it is evolving. Yeah, I think I think it is. It, it, some of the newer songs that we have are it, it's different for us. Different for us, more challenging for us to play. So therefore, I think it's it's better. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot, more, like a lot more stuff is going on. We're trying to cram as much as we can into a, a four-bar or eight-bar loop, and then but while still making it listenable, still make listenable and enjoyable to watch and listen to. Um, you're gonna play Devil in the Detail for us. Tell us a, a little bit about, uh, about that. <laughs> That's hilarious, because the song's about you. Is it about me? Yeah. No way, it's not about me. <laughs> yeah. Are you only divulging that now? No, he knew about this ages ago. I've known this for ages. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bit weird now. If it's about me, if it's on the interview, no, like I was like in my bed the other morning, and I could hear you walking around the gap going, a "Shadow on your dance." <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> you walking around the gap and it's like, a date. Uh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Yeah, apparently. Because <laughs> it's Jamie. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're going, "Oh, that's hilarious." <laughs> yes, yeah, it sounds about you.
with people who were watching went to college together. Yeah. Um, and the song is just, just it's just about uh, it's not it's not really about you. It's just about a guy <laughs> who, <laughs> who uh, has some relationship difficulties uh, that I could empathise with. But he's a great guy. Yeah, but he's a really good and guy. a good housemate and a great housemate and, and a good housemate and a best friend. There was a video made for that, which was very successful, and it was kind of mentioned on all the blogs and stuff. Was that important for you guys? Um, well, it's just it's just we 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 like to have a like a a very very well rounded thing, you know, when you're releasing something, it's like to have a video and the packaging of the sleeve has to be very nice, and the video I think is an important part of it of the whole thing, you know. So I felt that was very important for us to have a very good quality video to accompany the release of the EP. And do you think do you think it um, it it got the song out there a bit more well, because it was because it was a great video, wasn't it? Well, like it did, like people were nearly talking about the video more than the song, the song <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is like, great. Yeah, yeah, we like it got <laughs> some some lad in the street. Yeah, great, great video, <laughs> and then that's it. Just walked away. And just walked away. Yeah, yeah. no, nothing about how good how good the song might have been or not, but you know that's good. But I think it just past like 20,000 views 20,000 views that's yeah. like a small soccer stadium yeah wow. of, All watching of, a video. Of, of people at the same time yeah <laughs> it's good so, in perspective yeah. Yeah. so that helps us you know and it helps the guys who made it Soul Jacker yeah and they're, those guys are great they did our the first video we ever done they did that as well yeah and uh, yeah they were just just really well done really well made and made us made our song look really really cool and good <laughs> yeah so made our song look better than the sound <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's well done Soul Jacker then yeah, I guess uh, um, yeah. so I was going through your MySpace as I as I do weekly mm-hmm. weekly check up on your MySpace um, and I see a weekly update of your influences so who who are you listen to who you listen to now um, and who do you think if you pick one artist each who's influenced your your music playing who would it be Mark, uh, first. influence me. Um, don't really know. I can't really think of like, you know, I could name some like jazz drummers or something, but that would make no sense. Um, you know, uh, I can think of bands I listen to now, and they're really kind of having a big impact on the way I'm playing now. So field music, I think you'll agree with me. Yeah, field music are, one, I think, one of my favorite. And their bands. whole, they have a whole trio of, of artists: so it's field music, school of language, and the week that was. Yeah. So well, they're all just the same, the same people, the same. but but centered. But like yeah. those guys are, are really great. Just um, just people who are like very forward thinking, you know, just very weird, very intricate. But also music. making interesting albums, yeah. you know, which is uh, probably the most like important thing for us is when we listen to this stuff because the way we treat recording, we kind of are now treating to complete like treated differently than playing live. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And kind of go you in a studio and you go wow we can do all of this. <laughs> do you like? Do you, do you guys like recording? Love it. We didn't at the start because it was kind of you were lost at the start almost. Yes, yes, we were.
foolish part Then I'm lost at the start It's tell yourself a fish part Then I'm lost at the start It's tell yourself a fish part Then I'm lost at the lost at the start tell us a bit about being lost at the start um, well the song is just about again another but one of those relationship woe things where uh, uh, just just not, be, not being happy with whatever, whatever you get no matter what you have you're just consistently unhappy and trying to rectify that that's essentially what the song's about good stuff yeah. Mark's looking at me with a weird face no because I'm saying something that's to do with uh, feelings and emotions. <laughs> so Mark, just uh, uh, funny face. Mark, are you uh, emotionless? Am I, no, I don't think so. He's got many emotions. Oh, I feel like four. <laughs> give me, four. give us your, four, give us your four emotions. It was happy. Yeah. It was sad. <laughs> that's the same. They're both the same. You just the same thing. Nervous. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I like it. My four. Um, <laughs> that was uh, that was these are the Amity Fair, Mark and Jamie. Um, I'll see you at home. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.